South Carroll faced a challenging early schedule in 2023 and didn't get to enjoy a win until week seven. But the Cavaliers ended the regular season with three wins in a row. That stat, coupled with a host of returning players, has the Cavs feeling good about picking up where they left off when the 2024 season begins. Yeah, kind of just trusting ourselves in the beginning half of the season. Uh, last year, we got a lot of first-time guys, uh, but we got a lot more experience this year, and we're hoping to carry that into the beginning of the season. Really, we just need full effort and our best execution every practice. Um, just 100 per do 100% of what we're capable of every day. And then, as we have a lot of practices like that, we'll continue to build momentum and get better. South Carroll opens with the same three opponents as it did last fall. Chesapeake of Van Arundel, Linganor, and Westminster. SC lost all three last year by a combined 133 to seven. But the Cavs won their final three games of the regular year, including an overtime victory against rival Liberty. Assistant head coach Chris Gavin said the 2023 season can serve as a great learning tool for the future. Yeah, so last year we experienced a ton of adversity. Right, starting out uh, game one, right, losing uh, losing Manny immediately, who was you know supposed to be you know the guy, uh, got him coming back, so so that's good. You know, keep that that quiet for a little bit, but um, but yeah, there's there was a ton of adversity that we saw throughout the schedule uh, with injuries and so on. We're gonna deal with a team that uh, frankly has seen it all, and I I don't think there's been a team in South Carolina history that has had so many young guys start and then return. Gavin mentioned the return of senior Manny Rodriguez, who missed last fall with an injury. Brother Anthony Rodriguez is back after 600 rushing yards and seven total touchdowns as a sophomore. Also returning is quarterback Caleb Evans, who threw for 1,386 yards for the second most in Carroll County last fall. Evans gets his top pass catcher back from a year ago and senior Braden Yeager. Meanwhile, senior lineman James Graham posted five sacks on defense in 2023, tops on the team. Yeah, some of those guys I haven't been able to play with since uh, my sophomore year, so being able to play with them is really special, and uh, I think we got a good connection, which will be good for us. South Carroll has balance with 10 sophomores and 10 juniors along 14 seniors on the current roster. And that has the Cavaliers excited to get started September 6th. Oh, it's great because sometimes you have seniors who have really good years, and it's not like you can look, oh, well, next year we have that. But we had a lot of juniors and sophomores have great years, and you can look, oh, well, next year we can just keep building on top of that. So it's very exciting. The biggest thing is that these guys have set the standard, and we're holding them as a coaching staff to that standard. The Cavs have the same three opponents to kick off their 2024 schedule, and South Carroll visits Ruby Field for its county opener in Week 3 against Westminster. The Cavs added Brunswick to replace Sussex Tech in Week 5 this fall. Now we see a few players to watch for South Carroll. Quarterback Caleb Evans threw for the second most yards in the county last year. He gets his top receiver back in senior Braden Yeager, and South Carroll is pleased to get Manny Rodriguez back on the field after he missed all, almost all of last season with an injury. Want more local sports coverage? Be sure to like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel.